I believe this is going to be the final uh, problem that I work in this particular hour here on part one of uh, these antiderivatives and indefinite integration. I hope this at least gives you a basic foundation of how to get started in doing integrals. And I'm sure probably in the next section I'll work some uh, application problems or word problems, however you want to state it. Um, anyway, let's just go ahead and do this last one since uh, we haven't worked uh, something that involved the natural log here. We've got the integral of e to the x over 5 minus 5 over x plus 3 raised to the x power. Let me write this out if I can remember it. It was the integral of e to the x over 5 minus 5 over x, and then I think I had plus 3 raised to the x power. dx. Well, I think we worked one that involved uh, e, but if you remember that the integral of e to the x is just e to the x, and of course this 5 down here is not going to matter. The reason for that is I'm going to actually do something, since this is the only problem I'm going to be working, uh, the uh, properties of uh, integration, which I'm not sure I mentioned yet. But we can actually rewrite this. We can break all this stuff up, if you would like. And then plus the integral of 3 to the x dx. So we can break all this up and do these all separately. And so remember, this is really the integral of one fifth times e to the x dx minus, and this is, we could also say this, this is five times one over x dx. And of course, this is not necessary in working this problem, but I thought I would show you that you can do this. And so you would take this coefficient and bring it out front of the integral sign, which now we have e to the x dx minus, I'm going to bring this 5 out front, and there's not much more we can do there. That's just 3 raised to the x times dx. Of course, we need to throw an equal sign out here since they're all equal. All right, so the integral of e to the x, dx is just e to the x. And of course, we got this one fifth out front. We want to make sure we rewrite that. Now, the integral of 1 over x is the absolute value of the natural log of x, right? The absolute value of the natural log the natural log of the absolute value of x, however you want to say that, plus, now you take the natural log, you're going to be taking the natural log of 3, okay. and then we just end up rewriting 3 raised to the x, and of course, you shouldn't forget this, plus c. Don't forget the plus c there. You could rewrite this piece right here if you'd like as 3 raised to the x over the natural log of 3. If you wanted to rewrite that. Um, of course this could be rewritten as e to the x over 5. I guess I should just go ahead and finish the whole thing. The natural log of the absolute value of x plus and then plus C. All right, so once you get good at this stuff you don't really even have to do all that. You'd skip a lot of steps. You just go from there to the answer. You know, but I just want to show you that you can break all